Take it away, Gabriel. Okay, so, um, start here. So, uh, I'm involved with the anti road campaigning on the south coast. And uh, one of the roads um, that we've been campaigning on is something called the Queensway Gateway Road, uh, which is a, a 600 metre road. It's not yet been built, um, but it's planned to go across a, a local wildlife site. And it's, it's the aim, official aim, is to relieve congestion caused by another road project that they've just completed, which cost, I think, 100, over £113 million, pounds, which is called Bexhill Hastings Joint Road, which got quite a bit of publicity and was a series of protests um, when it was built. And uh, its real aim is to cover this, this local area with business parks, um, many of which are largely empty at the moment ones that they've already built. So uh, this Queensway Gateway Road was first granted planning permission in February 2015. Uh, despite the fact there's been quite a bit of campaigning against it locally. Um, and so I uh, had some lawyers and we went to the High Court and the council actually buckled right at the last moment. Like literally, I think it was a few days before we were supposed to actually be in court. Uh, or maybe it was actually on the day when we got to court. They said, well, let's not actually um, uh, uh, go through the whole judicial review process and they actually quashed it. Um, uh, sort of before we actually got to the final bit of actually uh, getting our day in the High Court. And this is a bit of local press coverage for that. Um, however, uh, what then happened, um, oh, and crucially, one of the crucial things, the reason why we were able to get it quashed was because um, the developer's own figures had shown that the road would cause illegal levels of nitrogen dioxide. Mm, so their own figures said that, and that was not something that they recognised, that's something we had to draw their attention to. Um, so, uh, so we have held another thing. So local demonstrations. This was actually a, uh, a demonstration near one of the so-called human receptors, which would have, uh, according to the developer's own figures, had an illegal level of, of around two. Um, however, in December of last year, uh, what happened was that uh, the council granted, re-granted the permission on the basis that they had. Um, they've made methodological errors in their earlier figures, uh, and they now said, oh, well, now we've recalculated them, and they're just, I think, some fraction of a, of a you know, a, a tiny little um, bit under the, under the, the illegal level, what would have been the illegal level. Um, and they regranted it, despite the fact that, um, I think over a hundred people attended that planning meeting, so it's actually packed, they actually held it in our local, um, a local theatre, and um, this is our uh, poster we put out um, to encourage people to come um, uh, down to the White Rock Theatre. And this time, whereas beforehand the council had been unanimously in favour of it, this time three local councillors actually took a stand and actually voted against it. Um, so subsequently, um, in conjunction with my lawyer, or my lawyer on my behalf, took another legal challenge um, to this regranting of the permission um, for a judicial review. Now this was turned down. Uh, by the High Court, and we've since been in a series of appeal processes um, for that. And it was in June of this year, so after the Council had regranted permission and we'd initiated this legal process to try and, to try and get another judicial review, uh, that we started monitoring the air quality uh, uh, just around here, um, at the proposed junction between the Queensway Gateway Road and, Gateway Road and another road called the A21. Uh, and we did that with support from the Network for Clean Air. Um, so the first three months of uh, results uh, showed that the levels of nitrogen dioxide will be significantly above the lawful limit. Um, and we actually launched a petition locally uh, demanding that the council actually do its own monitoring uh, and until it's actually established what the actual reality is, uh, that there be a moratorium on building on this new road project. Uh, now, Hastings Borough Council, who's the council that we've been having all these tussles with, uh, have agreed to co-locate. They say, oh, well, we, we're, we're dubious about, about your, uh, about what, how you're monitoring the air pollution, to co-locate diffusion tubes at the same site as ours, um, but they've not responded about moratorium. Perhaps unsurprisingly. Unfortunately, last Wednesday, so just a few days ago, um, we went back to the High Court and our permission for the judicial review uh, was refused once and for all. So we may now be at the end of that legal process. Um, now, as I understand it, what my, one of the things that my lawyer was arguing was that in the wake of the, the Connor Earth case, that this was relevant because 
Um, basically, the way in which the council had changed their figures was saying we're now using the 2016 figures and they're lower than the 2014 figures because it, uh, the levels of NO2 are going to be declining as technology improves. And what the climate earth case showed that it's something that's not been the case. You can't just assume that things are going to continue to get better um, over time. So what have we learned? Uh, we've learned that I think that air pollution can be a very powerful tool um, for opposing new road schemes. Uh, we've learned that uh, whilst it was, it's been very useful for us to have done it when we did it, it would have been even more useful for us to have done it before um, we got into this whole thing, because if we'd been able to take to that second planning application the air monitoring data, it would have raised another question, I think, and they might not have been able to push it through that second time or, or pass it that second time. Um, we've learned that even when you get turned down, it's, it's worth continuing. Uh, that's not the end of the road. Oh, it's the end of, I'm sure we're going to continue now as well. Um, and I guess we've also learned that air monitoring pollution, at least with the help of the Kinema Clean Air, is a cinch. And so you should do it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs>